Hey guys, Ping here. Um, today let's model this. Okay, so let's start. Um, so we're going to create a project first. So we're going to try different method for this one. So first, I um, I'm going to try stairs. Okay, so stairs. So let's. Uh, so in floor plan, so let's quickly um, stair. So I'm going to use the uh, cast in place. Okay, so so I'll just roughly. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, we need. or just roughly model this. Okay, so this will be um, part of this. Okay, so on the the left hand side, and then. Um, I'm going to mirror it. Okay, so mirror these stairs. So we have. So if I go to 3D view, you will see we have exactly the same. So just mirror it. Okay. So now if we select this one, so if you click on the top and select this one, you will be able to drag this one back. So you can re, you can move this up. So now this is what uh, we will get. So if I finish this. For now, so we will get a stairs with two, uh, what do we call this, fly. And uh, it seems we need to, so because in this, um, it looks like that's only one thread there. So we probably need to lower this one. So that's okay. So edit stairs. So we can just. Uh, I think we can just uncheck this one. Yep. So that's it. So and now, uh, what we need to do is we need to select it, convert. Okay. So convert to a, a stairs by sketch. So now you 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 will see this one. You can click on edit sketch, and we can uh, we can edit the the profile of this stairs. So now what we're going to do is first we need to uh, get the size, uh, the the shape of this one, so a circle. So I'm going to use the boundary. Okay, so it's a boundary, and draw a, a start and radius. So from this point to this point, half circle. Okay, so and then I'm going to just mirror it, mirror mm. Okay, so now we need to change some of these lines. So first, this part. It's going to be black color line, which is this a riser. Okay, so so drag this back to this point. So this part will be the boundary line, which is green color. Okay, so drag this one to here, and then we just need to so remove this line. So we need to create a riser, start and arc, and and then we can delete this one. So the Okay, so the rest will be fine. So we just need to delete this, and uh, so it will stop here. So trim, okay, trim, and then we can use this one. Okay, so trim, extend, multiple element, pick this edge, and then we just need to click on all these lines. So you have you have to click at each uh, each. And everyone, okay. So um, I know in AutoCAD you can uh, you can draw draw a line and automatically uh, extend all the, these lines, but in Revit you have to do it just one by one. Okay, so that's it. Um, so you see this is black color, and then boundary, boundary, bla all black. Okay, so finish, and then let's have a look in 3D view, and then this is it. Okay, so and then we just need to uh, do uh, edit sketch uh, on this one. Same. Um, I'm going to just draw a star from here, and uh, uh, it won't snap. That's fine. So let's just do it from here to here. Okay. So and mirror. Uh, let's drag this back to here. Oops, sorry. Drag this, this back to here and trim this. Okay. So now maybe uh, uh, 
let's just mirror this one to the other side and delete this da da and draw a riser line from here to here and here and delete this one and extend these lines okay so finish and then finish so let's see uh, let's have a look and this is it so very it's quite simple and um, yeah that's it and then so this is floor okay and then this is a uh, columns no problems and the roof so this roof can be can be just uh, let's just go to side plan so just create a roof roof by footprint and I'll just pick the this line or just draw uh, maybe just draw a circle it would be easier so when you draw a circle just use SC to pick the center point so it's easier to find the center point and then just remove uncheck the defined slope so instead just um, Oh, actually so use the slope arrow and then you have the option to change this to a uh, slope okay so I'm not sure uh, what a slope is so let's just uh, use 30 degrees for now and finish let's go to 3d view and that's it maybe go to south elevations so from here maybe we can just try to figure out the slope we need to draw a line or actually we don't we have we don't need to we have this uh, edge di and angular so 31.85 31.85 so just select this roof type in 31.85 so this roof will match this and then you can move it down or just uh, change change the level so from ground floor and we uh, for example 24 uh, seating height something like that 24 let's just measure this 24 yeah and yeah and remember 24 is from this point to here so you probably want to check the this this is more important okay yeah this one um, so this is it so this is the first method use the stairs and um, the second method I'm going to show you is just to use a, a model in place and use extrusion okay so now because we have all these levels the, the, the good thing about uh, stairs is uh, you don't need to worry about uh, um, the the, the height so and, uh, once it's set here so it will contain with the with these rules okay so the maximum or minimum all this setting um, for, if you want to do a, a model in place you need to first you need to know exactly uh, what the these uh, depths of the treads is what the the riser what the height of the riser is but because we already have this one so we can just do we can just use this one okay so i'm going to just pick lines so let's create this i'm going to maybe use floor or even stairs but yeah it should be the same floor at least we can join join them so floor and extrusion so we're going to uh, actually we're going to because we we're going to create an extrusion from the side we need to uh, cancel this we need to create a reference plan but a side plan so we need to create a reference plan so this direction that's a wrap a doesn't need to be um, in the center but uh, it's probably the best location it can it can be so now go create a model in place so let's choose floor okay finish okay set work plan pick a plan okay pick this reference plan 
and then go to either uh, south or north. I'm going to use south. And now we, because we have these two, these stairs, so we can use create extrusion and pick line. Okay, so let's try to. Uh, looks like we won't be able to tab select all, but that's okay. We can. Let's just do it. Oh, looks uh, seems we can't because this is a. It's actually um. There's no edge here. It's a. It's an arc here, so we won't be able to pick that line. But we can draw it. So let's pick. Oops. Let's just uh, quickly pick all. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just quickly pick all these lines and and this one, this one. So yeah, actually, I'm. It's it's probably easier to just copy them, then pick them. <laughs> oh, don't just be careful. Don't uh, ha uh, avoid overlapping lines. Okay. Okay. So trim, and also here, and that's it. So now. If I finish this, go to 3D view, and then we can just ex uh, extend both direction. Okay, so and then that's okay. That's it. Then we just need to cut it. So create a void. Okay, circle uh, SC to find the center point, and then we just need another profile outside here to cut. And uh, where's my void? Where's my void? It's here. So I just need to drag this up, and that's it. So now if I finish this one, so let me just move the. So there's also the stairs there. Uh, let me just select. I tried to select the stairs, but okay. maybe H H. Okay, so now let me just move this stair away. Okay, so I'll just move it uh, here. So HR, so this is it. So extrusion, so very nice and clean. And and um, yeah, that's that's it. So, and uh, we don't need to worry about the roof. Let's have a look. I think that's it. Yeah, we can create a roof still with, and also uh, if you wanted to, you can all you can also create you can also use extrusion. So exactly, actually, so when you do this one, so for example, you can uh, you can edit in you can even model it in the same extrusion. So extrusion, and uh, you can just pick this. So for example, I want it to be uh, two hundred. And then just need to. Oops, sorry. Oh hell, let me just copy this down. I want it to be 200. Okay, so. And because this one, it will, it will also share that void. So you just need to make sure the void the void is high tall, high enough, and then it will automatically cut that. As well, so finish, and then let's move this roof away, and this is it. And um, actually, try to avoid have separate element in one modeling place because um, this might ha you might have some issue if you um, doing this, especially when you uh, try to tag. Or tag the material or tag the element. So uh, it's very easy to separate them. Control C, edit in place, edit extrusion, delete, finish, and finish this one. And paste in the same place, edit in place, and then just go edit the extrusion again, delete this, and finish, and finish. 
now they are separate element okay so um, I think this is it um, so the writing will, will be very very simple so uh, I think uh, probably it's a little bit uh, not that simple if, you, if you're using extrusion but uh, if we let's just try this try on on this uh, stairs because if you do a railing let's just try this one and it will automatically um, be placed onto onto stairs so you will see the the the, 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 the style of this um, or the sorry the type the style of this railing is not quite same but uh, quite uh, you can just uh, change the setting to match this one okay so I I'll just leave it to you um, and that's that's it can can we just continue this one I'm not sure <laughs> uh, I'll see uh, let's let's try okay so I'll pick line so maybe uh, we can just drag this up uh, maybe let's just pick this line so I know where it needs to be uh, where it need to stop so if we do it and try to uh, pick uh, it won't work so I think this will be um, an issue because I think uh, maybe let's try to to stop it in the middle um, hang on let me just try to pick this line to the center point um, no, won't allow me to pick that so roughly here okay so so let's try roughly here delete this part finish so it works so maybe we can just um, mirror this so instead of have having one had so we can have two okay so that's it for today if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye